Kane, who's an international representative for the labor union PACE, shortly before the meeting began. With uh, Governor Baldacci, uh, I think the agenda might be somewhat loose in the sense that uh, it's, it's probably going to be kind of a fact-finding. Uh, he hasn't been... Officials have been asked to take a closer look at the concept. Consolidation in and of itself isn't going to solve this problem. Consolidation isn't the answer to all these budget woes. It simply will. It simply will make them less severe. Dockets passes in 70% of East Millinocket. Without that money, many agree there's no choice but to join forces. Without consolidation, they say they're writing the area's education obituary. In the Katahdin region, Karamatazuski News Center. The brain is held by doctors and nurses in the Millinocket area. Great Northern filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last week. This morning, health care providers were in federal bankruptcy court in Bangor asking a judge to review their contract with the company. They say they cannot continue to provide care indefinitely without Great Northern paying its outstanding bills to them. The judge agreed to review the matter a week from today. Meanwhile, the new owner of the Bangor and Aroostook Railroad says GNP's bankruptcy filing is forcing the railroad to slash pay up to 40%. The BNA is also asking workers to volunteer to be laid off. Representatives of the finance. People workers worried about losing their health coverage get some encouraging news. Their benefits are extended, at least for now. Benefits. Judge Lewis Cornwright said the court will take a harder look at the issue next month. Until then, GNP must cover health care costs up to $300,000 a week. Now, if costs exceed that amount, providers will be stuck with the bill. We will be facing a drastic uh, change in our services if something um, doesn't something doesn't happen soon to rectify the situation, as is, I'm sure, pretty much every employer in our community. Great Northern Paper returns to court February 4th to discuss the company's long-term plans. That's the soonest all sides could return to talks. So, federal assistance to keep the lights and heat on in GNP's Millinocket and East Millinocket Mills is now extended until February 4th. A Superior Court jury has found Jeffrey Russ Gorman guilty of the murder. We'll be stuck with the bill. The judge says the court will take a harder look at the issue next month. Everyone can breathe a, a little sigh of relief. There's a lot of uncertainties ahead. The donations from the two paper mills. And with their fundraising campaign coming to a close at the end of this month, it looks like they'll be short of their $2.65 million goal. At the same time, the 1,100 people out of work because of the mill closings will likely need help from the United Way. That's why the agency's hoping folks might find a few more bucks to donate. So encouraging workplaces to look for something fun to do to raise just a little bit more money, maybe $100 here or there, um, to help us uh, in these final days. United Way's Jeff Wallstrom is doing his part. He's agreed not to shave for every day the staff donates $5 at the office. If you'd like to help, call that number on your screen, 941-2800. Friend to doctors, nurses, week the mill filed for providers. But now, with news spreading from Augusta of a potential buyer, some workers can't help but be hopeful. Yes, we are. Everybody is. I, the attitude is pretty good. And uh, people I work with in this mill here, but everybody knows nervous about the future, and most people really don't want to move away. Although Dickey remains optimistic the mills will one day produce paper again, workers today chose not to go on camera saying they're taking a believe-it-when-we-see-it approach because of what they call years of secretive actions of current management. Just yesterday, some workers arrived at East Mill Credit Union to find GNP pulled back money it deposited into their accounts. It doesn't happen very often, uh, but um, I, I think that uh, they've decided not to pay vacation time, and as a result, they pulled the payroll out, and they are going to resubmit uh, a credit uh, later on down the road, and we're hoping that that happens soon. While Byron calls the confusion over paychecks and checking accounts an honest mistake, Dickey says he experienced another minor snag when he showed up for a dentist appointment. And I was up and rough down to $180 a week towards their health insurance. Real estate agents say it's too soon to tell how the mill's closing will affect real estate prices, which are already low. More homes in the area could pop up for sale in Millinocket. Residents have to move to find work. Some residents may choose to stay in Millinocket in the area and commute to work rather than sell. 
But as of now, homes like these are going for less than $50,000 each. In other news tonight...